In 1965, the Higher Education Act officially recognized certain schools as historically black colleges and universities. It also granted them federal funds. Each president since Jimmy Carter has signed executive orders strengthening HBCUs. President Trump did it 40 days into office. So how does this bode for these schools? Dwayne Lindo joins us with more. Dwayne. Well, Haley, right now, it's hard to know whether Trump's urgency to initiate the order will strengthen black colleges around the country. But one thing is for certain, HBCU students and alum will closely follow Trump and see what he does from here forward. So this is historically black colleges and universities, executive order, very important to all of us. In an effort to try making America great again, Trump signed an executive order transferring control of a federal HBCU initiative from the Department of Education to the White House. It seems like a lot of the HBCU presidents who attended that meeting, uh, came, some came away disappointed and thought that it was more symbolic uh, than substance. Was it just a photo op? Or is he seriously committed to helping HBCUs? For decades, HBCUs have struggled to survive, heavily depending on their share of government funding. In addition, lagging behind other universities when it comes to endowments. Under President Obama's administration, black colleges received $4 billion in seven years. In Trump's 2018 budget, HBCUs will maintain the nearly $500 million a year they've received in the past. Pastor of Light of the World Church in Sarasota, Kelvin Lumpkin, is a graduate of Bethune-Cookman University, one of four historically black colleges in the state of Florida, which includes Florida A&M, Florida Memorial, and Edward Waters in Jacksonville. He says Trump's move is an encouraging sign for the future, but has his doubts. I think uh, with it being in the hands of the White House, it could be a great thing for HBCUs, but not necessarily. <laughs> so it just depends on how committed President Trump really is. Sarasota's Republican Club President Rod Thompson admits HBCUs, rich in culture, were needed more than a half a century ago, but questions whether they are needed now. I mean, you take University of Florida or Florida State or my alma mater, Michigan State, um, you know, they're, they're totally representative of the communities in the state, you know, as far as uh, ethnic diversity, racial diversity. Lumpkin answers the question and says they are needed. For the collective self-esteem of African Americans, and especially African American men, I think if for no other reason, uh, HBCUs are still important. According to the National Center for Educational Statistics, enrollment in black colleges has increased from 276,000 in 2010 to 293,000 in 2015, an increase of 17,000 students in 15 years and rising. With the increase, Thompson says it's up to graduates to keep these schools relevant. If the alum want to fund them and help raise and, and have endowments for them, Great, free country, have at it. Lumpkin agrees, but says Trump needs to follow through with his promise. Quite frankly, I think those of us who are alumni got to do a better job. I don't know if we are as committed as we should be. Of course, we do need government help, but I, I also wonder if we don't need to take a look in the mirror and do better ourselves about supporting our institutions. It can't just be about going to homecoming. We need to start, you know, giving, systematically giving. And many of these college presidents are looking for the federal Pell Grant program strengthened for their colleges as well. Thank you, Dwayne.